Kensington and Chelsea Council is a firm called Ryden. Ryden's chief executive is Alan Bond. Last year, 2016, Alan Bond took a salary of £424,000 and received in dividend payment for shares in Ryden £1.4 million. Meaning he established an income last year of close to £2 million as the chief executive of Ryden. Two other companies that own Ryden shares are based in the Channel Island, Jersey. One of them was established by Lloyds Banking Corporation. Behind the Grenfell Inferno is the City of London in the form of Lloyds Banking Group, which is a major shareholder in Ryden, which was awarded the contract to refurbish and reclub Grenfell Tower on the basis that it could undercut a subsidiary of Briggs by almost two and a half million pounds. And its chief executive last year received an income, Alan Bond, of almost two million pounds. These people are parasites who are profiting from the suffering of hundreds and thousands of people in this country. The chief executive of Ryden should be put on trial and the money he received last year should be confiscated from him. Two, 1.4 million in dividend payments from Ryden ownership, 424 million pounds, so 424 thousand pound salary he was paid. Alan Bond, it's time you didn't reside in the home counties but resided in a prison. That's where you belong. Thank you. Okay, so there's more details about Grenfell. And uh, from what I gathered, uh, they might be uh, suing some councils because, uh, well, they'll be uh, getting rid of those uh, cladding. What I'd like to say today is, if you feel powerless, the powerless feeling of not being able to do anything against the rich, taking, 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 there's one thing you can do, and that is not eat meat and dairy. It is owned by landowners, okay, which guys, are uh... If you want to make a change, it's very simple. Don't buy our capitalism stores. Keep it in the community. This doesn't take a lot of effort. Just change where you buy. Change where you spend. Because we are feeding the rich through capitalism. And we're buying your Starbucks. And we're buying out all these big corporations. It's got money into the rich. Thank you guys, they've started their marching now. Hey guys, welcome. This is uh, yeah, People's March. So it's going to be an A to B march from here to uh, Parliament Square. Let's do a few speeches and then they'll go home in time for uh, having some tea and watch television. Probably East Anders. We'll see. Statue is what they get up to on the night. That's actually called the Peter Pound statue. 
yes. Have you heard of it? No. But uh, I'll it's a prosperous aerial. Mm. Okay, guys, this is actually, for those who don't know, this is actually prosperous aerial, okay? This was actually created by a, uh, an artist that was actually uh, accused of being a pedophile by his own daughter. There's been a petition on the BBC to point out, actually, please, to get rid of it. They have not done so because they claim it is a work of art. The work of art created by a pedophile. Okay, so what? Uh, two. Thank you. Yeah. guys if you uh, haven't made it I can assist by uh, keep tweeting this out please and sharing it everywhere Watch out for other live streamers. Hopefully they might uh, live stream from uh, Parliament Square. <laughs> from what I get, there's going to be a few different stages. So I'll see if I can uh, find some uh, some of the occupied guys and uh, yeah. have an assembly. Somebody did point out it. They call this the People's Assembly, but it seems to be more like uh, the people assemble and then the great and the good sort of uh, talk to them, talk at them. I don't know.
we'll see what happens. So like at the moment, it seems to be just uh, someone just making a speech that most people can't hear. And I'll show you what the rest of the crowd. Okay, and then actually, uh, give you guys all the way down back there. For those watching, there's actually uh, two uh, two legs of this march. One is actually from BBC Broadcasting House, and there's a shorter march uh, uh, primarily for uh, disabled people. That's actually from uh, uh, Downing Street. So, not sure which one. I mean, some of them probably probably be from uh, Trafalgar, Trafalgar Square as well. So we'll see what happens today. your doctor. Okay, not sure are they starting they're starting to walk up.
okay? People moving. Wow, the balloons are nice. Yeah, please, if you're watching this, uh, press the like button, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, everywhere. Thank you, Anarchy. Okay, so we've got a few uh, green party people here, okay? 
but then they're scattered all over the place different groups uh, yeah. uh, the city blockers the uh, Grenf uh, Grenfell uh, justice uh, across the people's assembly everywhere That's why I wore this. I just, it's a bit chilly, yeah. but I'm still here uh, watching. Uh, anyway, next time, please. Okay, guys, next time, please. Uh, if you're part of the Green Party, wear the Green Party T-shirt. Even though you're part of another group, okay, at least wear it. There's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, I, I like Jeremy Corbyn. Not so much about the Labour Party. <laughs> Okay. But she had a very slim majority in return for Green Party policies that she would take forward and she I would see. take into Parliament. So I am in support of uh, Green Coalition with certain Labour MPs. Yes. I mean, there's a few Labour MPs I wouldn't actually want to uh, be in coalition with. Yeah, there's only okay. a few. But uh, Rupert Hart is one of the good ones. Yes, because yes. she takes them forward for everybody. Yeah, I'm hopefully. Gonna go, I'm gonna go all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, that's uh, Caroline Healing Green Party. Anyway, that's actually the, my problem as well with some uh, certain members of the. Uh, uh, would you call it? Would you even call them the Blairites, really? But then they're part of the uh, labor machine. They're actually there to keep in power. That's it. <laughs> then of course you have. Uh, the GMB it was actually uh, supportive of fracking. GMB is a union actually has uh, 600,000 members. Then Unite the Union is actually supportive of Trident. And they have how many, uh, uh, what, a million members or something like that? I don't remember. But it is, uh, won't it be better to just uh, give all the people who work for, with tri for Trident a million pounds each, they can find another job. Probably be cheaper. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the music. That's live. Definitely, if it's occupied, we tend not to tell where we're going, so you end up with a lot of police. Stop this mayhem. Okay, for the people watching, this is uh, uh, the uh, well, tour is out now, not one day more. March, it is the A to B March. No helicopters, so I well, they did tell the police where they were going, so uh, it's nice and peaceful, nice and polite. I don't know what would actually happen if, uh, say, Theresa May quits, who takes over? Boris Johnson? Okay, that, then uh, the tour is actually going for another year. They probably call for a general election. Then what happens when the 80% of the Tory MPs who don't like Corbyn decide to uh, 
you know, collectively sla uh, stab him in the back. Then what? <laughs> uh, can you check please if this is actually being shown on the BBC at least? Well, I know Rapley is probably here in uh, Russia today in Al Jazeera. Not so sure about the BBC. ITV maybe? I don't know. The BBC Nah, there we are right outside. Yes, if you could tweet this out, we are we are just outside the BBC broadcasting house. So maybe they might notice that there's people outside, but it is a Saturday. Oh, they did. Okay. They did. Uh, they did show the well. They did show the Grenfell, the mob trying to uh, you know uh, rush into uh, uh, Kensington Town Hall. So maybe you know they might uh, show this one. Yeah, go ahead, there's a plenty of them there, I think. Oops, I think you need to watch it. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Yep, happy days, thank you. I'm not going to join in or I'll miss my coach show. <laughs> where are you? Oh, where are you from? Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton, yes, I know. A friend was actually coming from Leeds and then the coach actually broke down, so... Unfortunate. <laughs> Get the end before it drives away. Yeah. <laughs> All the best, good luck, enjoy. Okay, right, guys, it's a nice day, a bit uh, breezy, but uh, good for marching. Yeah. Just opposite the pedophile statue. Okay, anyway, guys, uh, for those just joining us, this is actually OB from Occupy News Network. We're just by the church, by uh, BBC Portland uh, Place, just opposite the Peter Fowl statue. You can actually see it there. And yes, this is actually the uh, yeah the march. Six. Okay, Sussex defend NHS. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yep, it is a good turnout.
good. <laughs> Who are you filming for? Occupy News Network. We're okay, a small group. Oh. We're a small group. Okay, so who? Say again? Who are you? Oh, ONN. Yes, uh, Occupy News Network. We tend to actually uh, go to the marches and then uh, yeah, just do, take a video, post it up on YouTube. Exactly. Because uh, well, a lot of times the, uh, the, time the, uh, sort of the BBC just ignore them. They are as well, yes. And you do it voluntary, obviously? Yes, I do. Check out the uh, the guys at uh, well, probably go to uh, Whitehall um, down the street. Actually, uh, check out uh, Deepak and uh, all the other guys. See what happens there. Yeah. 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 I have uh, before and I had actually uh, tweeted to uh, people's assembly, but they just ignore us. Anyway, there's probably too many people telling them. I'm not really too worried to be marches, but it's okay. It to be March, there's a few teachers, yeah. go home for tea. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to wear occupations really. We occupy places, that's it. So what where are we occupied recently? Not much, just uh for the most part, more, a lot of our guys have ended up going to the anti fracking camps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some interesting stuff there, isn't there? Yeah, Prest, uh, Preston, uh, uh, Defiled, and all that stuff. So it's actually going yeah, there, yeah. which is pretty good. Yeah, we've been up there. Yeah. And it's a totally different bit of activist, isn't it, as well? Yeah, uh, well, that's it. We, I suppose uh, we, a number of our guys actually tend to be actually don't really trust the party political system as such and uh, don't. Uh, some of them say they don't, uh, they don't vote so that yes. is, uh, in the politics, but uh, they uh, they vote every day of their lives with, uh, the, with their actions. We don't regard the uh, once every four years as somehow democratic. That's why they get away they Yeah, exactly. All the best, see you later.
Well, you can see when it's actually a nice A to B march, there's hardly any police. You can see two over there. Sorry? No, he's pointing out that uh, when it's a nice A to B march, they have permission for the police and there's hardly any police. But uh, when it's not, then you get lost. behind there. Well, not as much as occupied democracy in one day. take the tube to because uh, I need to catch up with everybody I'll go to uh, you know uh, down the street Whitehall so I, I should be back in about uh, probably half an hour so in any case as you can see hardly any police but uh, if you're uh, if you don't ask for permission you can end up uh, outnumbered by the police uh, three to one in your demonstrations Okay, guys, thank you. Peace out and please keep tweeting. See you later.